Hello there, we're going to make some butter today. So what you will have from your project pack is a plastic bottle, a plastic bottle or a jar like this with a screw top, some marbles, you will have got yourself some double cream and a little bit of salt. Now obviously you have to remember to have washed all of this beforehand just so that it's nice and clean and washed your hands. Put your marbles into your jar like that. Now, I like my butter to be salty, so I've put some salt in like this. It's up to you how much you put in because butter is to taste, salt is to taste. And then you open your open your jar, uh, your pop, pop of double cream. And pour it carefully into your jar. I'm going to pour it so it's about two thirds full so that it doesn't make too much of a mess. And then all you do is screw this firmly on top and this is your mini butter churn and you just shake it. So you'll notice after a little while that the uh, cream is starting to get a bit thicker and you'll see there are little bits of solid matter appearing. You keep on going. I would note this observation down in your table so that you know how many shakes it took to get to this point and then what changes you've observed. Remember we're trying to be as scientific as possible. Now it's a few, uh, quite a few more shakes later and you'll notice that the cream is becoming thicker and thicker. And what you might also notice is the sound is changing as you're shaking it. So remember to note all these things down in your table so that you can make a correct set of observations. Okay. Okay, so you've probably noticed that the cream is becoming, seems to be becoming more and more solid it's actually the butter starting to form and it's turning into a kind of whipped cream consistency. And this is known in scientific language as becoming more vic viscous, the, the, the liquid is becoming thicker. Now, you probably also, also notice that it's becoming harder to shake. That's, you just keep on going. And then you've probably also noticed that the, uh, uh, the sound has changed and that's because the liquid is harder to shake and therefore the sloshing sound that you could hear before is starting to disappear. Now, if you're noticing a little bit, a few drops of uh, liquid appearing here, just use a kitchen towel to wipe it down and maybe just to be on the safe side, uh, keep it there so that there are no leaks or spills. So we're at this point now and you can see that the cream has really increased in volume, but it's starting to get more and more solid. It's probably becoming harder and harder to shake. I've noticed that my marbles are now stuck. So that's agitating it less, but we just need to keep on going. Okay. Okay, you probably noticed that it's becoming more and more viscous, thicker and thicker and thicker, and your marbles are starting to come free. For the next bit, I suggest that you put some cling film over the top and then screw it back on. Okay, bye. As it starts to get looser from the jar, you'll start to see some gaps appearing. And you'll see that the cream is becoming grainier and grainier. And it's starting to become a little easier to shake. And as you shake it, try and listen careful for this, carefully for this, you'll start to hear a slapping sound.
Okay, see you in a few minutes. Now this little sloshing sound that you're starting to hear shows that the butter process is coming to its end and the butter is beginning to separate from the skimmed milk or buttermilk as it's possibly known. Just keep on going until the milk separates. So you might not be able to see this, but there's a little bit of the buttermilk appearing now. Keep on going until you get a nice ball of butter. When it really starts sloshing and you can see lots of milk, you really are ready. Okay. The next part of the process is washing the butter. So get some cold water. I'm gonna leave my tap to run for a little bit. I'm gonna pour off this, these little bits of milk. It's not drinkable because it's salty. I'm gonna and I'm gonna give it a shake again. Now I'm gonna shake this in the sink so that Nothing spills out and you can see, it seems like a more milky liquid comes out. And you can see that your butter has now become quite yellow. Shake it a bit more. this so that you don't lose too much of your butter. And then wash it one more time. Three times is probably enough. Really want to pour off as much of that water as possible. And your butter is there. Okay. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is tip out. And it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of the buttermilk. Try and be careful with the marbles on your plate because you don't want to break the plate. So I had three marbles in there. I've taken the three marbles out now. I'm going to tap out the butter. Now you'll scrape out all of the butter that you've got there. And then with a couple of spoons or with your knife, your Swedish butter knife, you can turn your crumbly looking butter into a little pat of butter like this. And the next bit is the really fun bit. 
which is where using your butter knife, you spread some butter on some crackers. Remember, before you use your knife, you need to have let the oil dry for at least 24 hours and you've washed it with some washing up liquid. So here we go. Let's use my knife, spread it on. And you can see it's just like ordinary butter. And enjoy.